Happy Tuesday. Uh, whether you're tuning in for Brian and the forecast this morning or, or checking uh, your phone for current conditions, uh, the data for those forecasts come in large part from NOAA satellites. And a new one is going up this afternoon. We're now joined by a, a program director of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Jim Valenti. Thanks so much for joining us, Jim. Thanks for having me, Bob. Good morning. So your administration and NASA launching this important Earth observing satellite uh, this afternoon from Florida. Brian, by the way, says the forecast is clear with a high of, uh, well, 23 degrees Celsius. <laughs> but you have scientists there that can convert. But anyways, tell us about this new satellite. Sure, Bob. We're very excited here at the Kennedy Space Center where NOAA is launching the third of its four advanced weather satellites that serve North America and the Western Hemisphere. Now, the satellite is a geostationary satellite, and it will provide continuous monitoring of North America and the, and the Western Hemisphere, uh, and as well as the ocean areas off the east and west coasts of the continent. Okay, can you explain uh, why geostationary or orbit is important here, and how uh, the mission helps our viewers get accurate and even life-saving weather data? Sure, geostationary orbit is a very special orbit at 22,236 miles up, and at that location, the orbital speed of the satellite matches the rotation of the Earth so that it appears to be hovering over the same spot continuously. And if you flip that around from, from the satellite's view, it's looking at the same spot on the Earth continuously. And from there, we can take images of the Earth and sections of the Earth as quickly as every 30 seconds. And then you can animate those together, and the, and the forecasters can get an excellent feel for what, how the weather patterns are advancing and progressing. And oftentimes, the, the weather patterns move from west to east, and this GOES-T satellite is slated to go into the west location over the eastern Pacific, and there it will keep an eye on the western United States, Alaska, Hawaii, and the western provinces of Canada as well. Oh, okay. Now, in recent years, we have seen quite a few environmental hazards around the globe, including a, a surprising pressure wave from the volcanic eruption in Tonga, wildfires in the western U.S., and uh, we were just talking on the, uh, at the news at 6.30 about extreme flooding in Australia. Uh, can you tell us how Ghost Tea will help us when those type of events happen? Sure, that continuous observations that GOES-T is able to provide give emergency managers and forecasters the data to not only identify those hazards, but also then track their progress. And that's particularly important for items like wildfires, where there may be smoke that travels, and, and you need to warn the public about when they might encounter smoke. And also the direction and travel of the fire can be monitored. The heat channels that we have can identify where that heat is and then where the fires are moving to. And so both of those features are very important for helping folks both protect property and save lives. Now, GOES-T is going to observe more than just the weather on Earth. Uh, it's also going to monitor space weather. So there's uh, one guy, Elon Musk, for example, that's going to be watching your forecast. He just lost 40 satellites because of a solar storm. Yeah, that's correct. A very unfortunate event for uh, SpaceX just a few weeks ago. Yeah. But yeah, GOES-T has four instruments that monitor the sun's activity as well as the space environment near the Earth, right around the satellite. And uh, space weather is very important for us on Earth because our electrical systems, such as our communications systems and our electrical power grid, are electrically based. And so any kind of activity that exceeds the norm for the sun can influence those. Uh, some of your viewers that are old enough may remember that when Quebec had a power outage back in 1989, that was from a solar uh, event. Right. Now, where can our viewers go to learn more about GOES-T? You can follow us on social media at NOAA Satellites and on the web at noaa.gov slash GOES-T. Okay, fantastic. And we will link that as well at our website, chh.com. Jim, did you want the uh, forecast for Florida? We, we got a guy standing by. Sure, go ahead. I, I think it's going to be about 22, 23. But Thanks. we're excited for the launch and hope that weather is ironically not a problem. <laughs> yeah, systems are a go. Thanks, Jim. Jim Valenti from the uh, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.